right, hi you guys, this is Justice with Tablet Pro, and I'm here with my friend uh, Petar. Uh, I'm saying it wrong though, can you say it? It's uh, Petar, okay, you but said... Peter is also fine, uh, yeah. if you want to pronounce it more in the video instead of butchering it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> nope, too late, <laughs> already butchered it, it can't be unbutchered. No right. problem. So, uh, I'm so, every time, okay, I'm going to say Peter because... <laughs> yeah that's okay. that's fine <laughs> uh he said it was okay all right so um peter is a 3d artist and uh where are you at uh i'm in the uk and i work at uh Valsogard at as a lead character artist so i do 3d and i'm not great at 2d but it's also something i want to use this tablet for and kind of learn 2d more with it so it, it's important that that works as well yeah, and your wife is a 2D artist, right? Uh, yeah, my girlfriend, not, not wife. Okay, your girlfriend? But yeah, she okay. she does 2D <laughs> well, so she can review it better than me uh, when it comes to 2D. Okay. So uh, Peter has the ROG Flow Z13, the gaming tablet, which has a pen-enabled display. And you've got, you, you're actually using the R530 stylus, right? Yeah, the Ren Nicer. Yeah, the Renacer one. Yeah. Yeah, which I didn't know um, was compatible, but... Yeah, with, with the, about the stylus, I think it, like the pressure and everything works well, but the buttons, first, it's very hard to... For 3D, feel it's, them it's where they are, great. And yeah. I need to use them a lot, so I'll probably be switching this to something else. Maybe a mm -hmm. bamboo. Uh, the bamboo ink. bamboo. Yeah. Yeah, those ones, the buttons yeah. are a little bit easier to click. Yeah, and it should work with this, I guess. Anything with the, what was it called? SPT, I think. Yeah, the so... um, the Surface Pen Protocol. So SPP uh, 2.0, or MPP, Microsoft Pen Protocol. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Yeah, I'll have to check it. Um, but yeah, the Wacom ones are more comfortable, so I, I'll probably be switching to that. Now, in the description of this video, I'm going to put links to um, Peter's website and some stuff that he has there. So if you guys have questions on the uh, Z13 tablet, then you guys can ask him that there. And you can put comments in the comment section on this video as well. So we're going to be talking about how the tablet works for artists. And I was not able to find anything online, and Peter was not able to find anything online. And so I thought it would be a good idea to provide something. Yeah, I decided to risk and try it myself because I, I waited for like four months. I even watched all the like Koreans and, and Spanish reviewing it, <laughs> trying to skip through the video, see if they're going to review the pencil. But no, everyone's just talking about the gaming of it. So Yeah, and it's a beastie machine. Like it's it's probably the only actual competitor, competitor to the Surface Laptop Studio. Like all the, um, the other ones just don't have the same uh, performance. And the one you have is the i9. Can you show it to us? Yeah. It's the i9. i9 with the 3050 Ti. So I didn't buy the version. The big one has a expandable, like, uh, the, expandable box for a 3080 external yeah, GPU. Yeah, the external but, GPU. Yeah, I didn't get that one. I think with that one, you do get uh, Asus stylus, but... With this one, you don't. Yeah. Can you show us the back? Just because the back is really cool. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so it has this. Do uh, I have it on? Yeah. No, wait, I window. can turn it on. Okay. Mm. It's got the Republic of Gamers and it's got all these cool little extra things here. It's got a pass through window, which provides a little extra height. So if you're laying it on, on the back, it doesn't really lay flush, right? Yeah, that's true. It's gonna. But you're not. You shouldn't do that anyway. If it's you're got cool. a small bump here yeah. um, from the profile, but you can always put it on this side, which is gonna be flat. Yeah. And I usually always keep it with the keyboard because, um, well, it's a really good keyboard. I'm like very pleasantly surprised with it. Yeah, it doesn't have um, a lot of flex. It's pretty pretty nope. stiff. No, no, not like very stiff and the keys are comfy to press. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to hear any of it. Let me put the microphone here. 
Nope, can't hear anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is pretty yeah. silent, so you're not even yeah. supposed we'll, to hear it. But <laughs> we'll add some some clicking sounds from an old typewriter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And maybe some of you noticed I'm wearing a glove, and I would probably recommend an art glove if you're using the pen, because the pawn rejection is not great with this one. Yeah, it's not because he's a backup dancer for Michael Jackson. <laughs> Like it's one of those things. You're like, who's Michael Jackson? He's an artist, and he wore a glove. Okay, that's all you need to know. <laughs> yeah, so I, I was looking at this machine for a long time, and I'm actually really excited that that Peter's making time and doing this with me. All right, so let's open up a drawing program and jump right into what people are looking to see. So we're gonna yeah, let's open up. Uh, try to start. Let's, let's do, do Clip Studio. Clip Studio is, is what most people, or I've had actually a couple people ask for um, a line test. Uh, they said with the real G pen in Clip Studio. And I don't I don't know how much experience you have with Clip Studio. But real I, G pen. I couldn't find it. <laughs> Not enough to know what that is. Yeah, <laughs> so we'll, we'll use a regular, maybe, a regular pen. Be, yeah, I'll just use these tools uh, here on the side because... Yeah. The default one. As I said, I'm not a 2D artist, but maybe one day I I, I can be with the help of this tab. Uh, right, so what should we do? Just straight lines? Just, yeah, a long diagonal line, long straight line, and just trying to see how much wobble and jitter is in there. And then try it really slow. Good, and then go from the left corner of the screen. Uh, and can you pinch in and zoom so we can see that a little closer? Those look pretty good to yeah, me. Yeah, they are kind of jittery, but uh, like this jitter is because of me. When my girlfriend, who is a 2D artist, draws these, mm -hmm. they're much more straight because even on an iPad, mine are going to look like this pretty right. much. Yeah. All right, so you're going to go left corner to right corner. Left corner. So uh, I'm sorry, bo bottom left. To top right, uh -huh. yeah, and yeah, I'll do varying speeds, like a few quicker ones. Okay. So these are smooth now. And then draw. And up. When I go slower, yeah, they draw, will get the which... Um, up to the right corner, so they're a, a horizontal or a diagonal line, diagonal. Yeah, like that. Perfect. And then slow. Yeah, those really look good. Um, Clip Studio does a, a decent job of of good line work. All right, that's good. Yeah, Can what, you go? When I was watching reviews before buying this, and most people were reviewing it in like OneNote or something, the lines did seem a lot more jittery than they actually are in painting software. Yeah, let's go into uh, Rebel, if you would. Yes, let's see where this is. And this one has 16 gigs of RAM, right? Yeah. And I don't think there's any other options for the RAM. It's always uh, yeah, 16 I think as that's the max. far as I know. Okay, then I guess the same layout for the lines. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Top and... Yeah, and we'll, we'll try and do some close-up video, and I'll just put it over the top of some of this. Yeah, sounds good. So for these ones, like the faster ones, straighter, of course, there is mm -hmm. a bit of jitter, but I really do think this is mainly because of just my inexperienced hand right. at drawing, because yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I do get the same results in iPad as well. Yeah, so sometimes people will use a ruler and they'll... Yeah, that... <laughs> That kind of pissed me off for the reviews <laughs> with, yeah. the, with the ruler. I'm like, okay, I, I get it because the ruler is going to make sure that your hand's not causing the jitter. But I, I think you should be able to see. Because jitter has a very distinct look to it. All right, and let's yeah. do some slow diagonal ones. Oh, 
how come we're testing the diagonal? Like, is there a difference usually? Yeah, it, do look it tends to fortunate. to pull out the the problem more, and then go about half speed. Okay, so I can yeah, see. Yeah, I can see a bit of jitter with these ones. Yeah. Yeah, and so basically, we're trying to see in the most obvious. Um, yeah. So it's it's there. It's not bad. Like I've seen some devices, and it's just horrific. And so you're like, I would never use that. This looks like it's still very usable. All right. Can you go yeah. over on the left side? There's um, there's those horizontal blue bars that have like opacity, and uh, let's see. You're on watercolor brush. Okay. Turn turn water to to one. Right. Um, yeah, water to one. And then um, right up there, that's good. And then right above it, there's a little horizontal three lines. And then to the right, there's a, a, a pop out menu. Click that. Okay. And then click off the X on position smoothing. Uh, right. Up. Uh, yeah, right there. Okay, so now there's no line stabilization at all. And then let's mm -hmm. draw directly on the screen. Can you hold the angle of the camera, the same spot you just had it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is much better. Should have done this from the start. Although I'm pressing a button with the camera now. <laughs> okay, there okay, we go. That looks good. All right, so this is in Rebel so, 5, and same. this is with no line stabilization. And Peter's mentioned, again, that he's not a 2D artist, which is fine. Good. And then some horizontal ones. All right, and then let's zoom in. Uh, yeah, pinch in. All right, so this stabilization actually looks okay. This is not not uh, bad. It's fairly, it's better than normal. Not quite as good as the laptop studio, but it's, it's actually fairly good. Can you go ahead and turn on the line stabilization? We'll put it somewhere near the bottom, um, like maybe three bars in. Yeah. And then go ahead and draw with a red color selected. Uh, just in between some of those lines, horizontal ones that match. All right, so this is with a little bit of line stabilization turned on. You're getting a nice quality line. So very, very usable. For art, and uh, Peter's using the R five thirty stylus from Renacer. And pressure looks like pressure response is good too. Yeah, I, I'm fine with the pressure, but since I'm not really used to taking advantage of it, I can't really say how yeah. good it is. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Okay, so I have a couple other questions for you um, on this computer. Uh, have you noticed the screen getting hot? So like your palm is really uncomfortable? Um, well, it, it's never uncomfortable. It does get significantly warmer than tablets, but mm -hmm. I've learned to look at this more like a laptop than a tablet, because not because I keep the keyboard on, like you can still remove it and it works well. It's more just how you use it. Like you do need to charge it more often. Mm -hmm. And it will get heated, but it's never uncomfortable that you have to like move your hand. It's just warm. Got it. Okay. So like probably but even Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, well, I was gonna say probably similar to just like the Surface Pro products. There's quite a few of those that mm -hmm. get pretty warm when you're using it. And on rare occasions I've had one where it was like, ah, I might burn my skin, but huh. mostly usable. Yeah, the 
it never got that extreme, but like even when you're doing just like basic stuff now i'm drawing like it's not really using the gpu or anything advanced it is warm it's definitely warmer than uh ipad would be yeah but yeah. if you live in a cold weather <laughs> that's kind of yeah. nice <laughs> yeah everyone in the uk is warming their hands with their <laughs> rog z13s um and uh does the stylus have any magnetic attachment points on this uh yeah try like all over it. it's like there is a magnet in this one i don't know if it's weak or something but there's nowhere where you can really Where's... stuck it i tried all the sides yeah nowhere to really keep it so because okay. the vents the vents are all at the top as well so mm -hmm. you wouldn't want to block them with the stylus right yeah I, my my guess was going to be that that was going to be the the big uh compromise for this machine that almost everything else is is really good but you're gonna have to just put your stylus in your pocket or in your you know carrying laptop bag or whatever yeah for sure like i would love if it was magnetic or somewhere uh i mean the great solution would be here uh in the case but mm -hmm. not, not on this one how does it attach can can you show me what the connector looks like and this, this uh, something that I think is really great about the Z13. Okay, that looks almost identical to like a yeah, just surface. Well, connections here and then the magnets just yeah. sliding in. Does the pen attach there magnetically? Where? Here? Uh, no, where, where the keyboard attaches on the tablet. Like if you pick yeah, the tablet. Yeah, I, I would not test that. I think there were some warnings to not do that. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it, it said not to put magnets like uh, in that area. Okay, got it. That's fine. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> this, unlike the Surface Laptop Studio or the Surface Pro 8, this has a micro SD card slot, which is actually a really big complaint for a lot of people. Uh, can you show us where where that is? Stay slow. Haven't even <laughs> used that. So, but it does. Yeah, it does say micro SD. So there it is. Uh, yeah. Slot here. Yeah. 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 That's right and where the it SSD used to be. Can be changed over here as well. Oh, okay. But this one already has a terabyte. So. Right. There's yeah. no real need to do it. Yeah, a terabyte for a tablet is is well for even for most computers is actually is pretty good. Yeah. The finger sensor it's got one here. Oh that's works cool. decent. Like you do need to do like uh, three taps usually to get it to register, so yeah, that's it's not perfect but uh, decent. Yeah, that's cool. That's something that's not on any of the Surface devices. And this one has like volume buttons and power buttons on the outside. Yeah, the volume and the power, basically, that's it. Okay. Nothing else from the buttons. Um, it does have a headphone jack as well. Headphone jack, and then it has um, two USB-C or one USB-C? Uh, so there's actually two, but one is hidden. So one is already plugged in here where it's charging and the other one it's going to be hidden inside this like uh oh you have to remove the rubber which is this is used to connect the external gpu if you have it oh but right. it also has a usb c here okay um they have a if name for that that port for the external gpu uh what's it called would know <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it, it, that's easy to find out later. The um, yeah, the nice thing with that port is it's it it keeps the external GPU at full efficiency. So normally, if you're using like Thunderbolt four, if you're using Thunderbolt four or something like that, you're you're actually only getting like eighty or ninety percent of the effect in, of the uh, performance of the GPU because you're you're passing through that restrictive port. So this does not do that. This is actually, you get the full performance. That's my understanding, anyway. Yeah, I wouldn't know about that, because for me, it was 
just the mobile aspect of it. So I didn't look too yeah. much into the external GPU. Uh, although that is also really cool. Like if you want to use it just as one device, you come home, plug it in and do the heavy work. Mm-hmm. Uh, it could be used. Like it's very powerful, much more powerful than the laptop I used for many years up until like last summer. So yeah, yeah, can do a lot of it. Uh, one thing that may interest 3D artists is that uh, so it has a mode where it switches off the GPU when it's not being in use, like the external one. It just switches to the integrated one. Oh, but okay. for example, when I'm launching Substance Painter, mm-hmm. if the GPU was not on, like sometimes it doesn't get detected and it launches Substance Painter with an integrated GPU. Oh, okay. which you can't use it. But uh, there may be here in the settings um, ways to kind of go around it. But I don't know if there, there's basically three modes, a standard and optimized one and mm-hmm. an eco mode. So eco mode will like completely disable the GPU. Okay. And the standard says, I can send you the screenshots of these, what the text oh, yeah. says later. It looks um, like you can customize it per application. Yeah, but like by the description, it kind of sounds like these two are the same. Although this one always keeps the GPU visible here in, uh, okay, in like performance. So it it is like it's drawing power, which is probably worse for the better. But if I switch to this one, if I launch the app without the GPU, uh, it may not kick it in. Some apps may not. Um, some games will kick it in automatically, mm-hmm. but Substance Painter like doesn't detect it so so, so then you will have to manually switch and or or even reset like windows i mean reopen the pc right yeah um, and that can be annoying for sure so i just keep it in this one but it's probably worse for battery this way um all right <laughs> so let's talk about um the battery life uh so you, yeah so yeah, i you didn't do any extensive testing but uh, it's definitely not like what you're used to from a tablet. Yeah. Yeah. So it does not compare to an iPad experience. No, no, not at all. Like you have to charge this every day for sure, and yeah. sometimes maybe even two times a day. Depends how you use. It. Maybe on three. I don't think I've done it three times, but yeah. So you get uh, what two, three hours, four or five hours um, on a charge. Yeah, I, I haven't kept track of it yet because i haven't really carried it anyway outside so it was always near a cable and i never yeah. I kept almost, track of it yet I but i do feel it's like two hours if you're doing something uh, intense mm-hmm. and That's... then maybe like four or five if it's uh, less intense okay that sounds sounds similar to like the laptop studio you're not going to get mm-hmm. all day even though you know they say you know you might get eight hours or 10 or 11 hours, I've never even gotten close. Yeah, I doubt. Like, even if you didn't do anything here, you would get 11 hours. So there's there's something really special, a couple things actually really special about the Z13 for me. Uh, the screen is brighter than the uh, Surface Pro 8 screen. Surface Pro 8's like 430, 440 nits. Um, this is a 500 nit screen, which is the same as the laptop studio, but this is a good pound, uh, 1.2, 1.3 pounds um, lighter than the laptop studio. Um, especially if you use it without the keyboard. I think it's uh, obviously the keyboard weighs something, but by itself, the tablet is more powerful than the laptop studio because it has an i9 processor and same GPU. Yeah, the the brightness, it's very good. Uh, no complaints. And the screen, like, it's not as high res as, like, the iPads Pro are going to be. It's, mm-hmm. uh, I think, well, I can check the exact resolution. But uh, I think the colors quality and HDR content, everything, it's super crisp. Like, even compared yeah. to a Surface. Does uh, it have? Not a Surface, the Galaxy Tab. Yeah, which has a gorgeous screen from what I've heard. This has HDR support. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, 
Yes, it does. Yeah, the um, Laptop Studio has some, like, you can do an HDR game, but not an HDR video unless it's streaming. I don't understand that. That's weird. Okay, this is... Yeah, I don't... I, I don't know if it works on everything. I didn't do extensive yeah. testing, but I can say like the videos and everything is gorgeous. Yeah. So this, um, I can't read the resolution. Yeah, 1920 by 1200, which is um, uh, a really nice aspect ratio. It's in between that 3 by 2 and 16 by 9. So it's it's a good screen shape. And then it's 120 hertz display for the for this resolution model and then there's a 4k one that has 60 frames per second and i actually would prefer the one that you have i would have actually gotten the 4k one because uh the 120 hertz like i'm never really using it or noticing the difference i have yeah. it on my other laptop and i it's not a, you, you notice a difference the first time you turn it on but Mm -hmm. After five minutes, never again. Yeah. So I would have liked the 4K version, yeah. even if it's a bit worse for the better. Yeah, yeah I think for um, me... Go ahead. Uh, unfortunately, the 4K, it's only if you get a 3080 with it. So it's like 3,000 pounds for the yeah, it's, 4K screen. It's so expensive. I um, play games on my laptop studio, and uh, the resolution... You can't you can't set it to 4K anyways. So 3050 Ti is not a 3080 or 3070 or 3060. So the 120 hertz refresh rate with uh, the NVIDIA DSSL, I think is what it's called. Um, the 120 hertz means that you can play at frame rates above 60 and it's just buttery smooth and lovely. That's why I would prefer the one that you have. And I don't know if the brightness on the 4K one is lower or the same, because sometimes that that uh -huh. uh, is connected. Right. I think it might be lower brightness, but uh, I, can, I can't remember. I'm sure people can see it in the spec sheets yeah. for that. How much... For me, the, the main purpose here was like watching videos and the ZBrush stuff so 4k is good when when you put this like very close to your head uh while you're sculpting mm -hmm. it's nice to have the extra pixels but right yeah yeah there's a lot of for people... the gamers i'm sure 120 is uh, gonna be better well yeah. i play games but probably not on this as much <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah um the uh there's there's a lot of conversation about the screen resolution with a tablet you know people are like okay why well, I, I need to have a super high resolution screen on this little tiny device and you're like well there is a, a spot where it's no longer visible the differences and you know there's a sweet spot where you're getting better performance and the visual clarity isn't increasing <laughs> because you can't see the detail and so the yeah the laptop pretty much Laptop Studio's 13.3 inch screen, I think, and uh, resolutions 2400 by 1600, three by two aspect ratio. And I, I'm i like, that's to me, that's perfect. If it were a 4K screen, I think it would be an unnecessary overkill. So I think they hit that, that sweet spot on, I think 1920 by 1200 isn't quite to that that sweet spot because this this screen is about the same size i think uh yeah i think it's 13 inches around that yeah around that and it's got nice small bezels yeah, so, yeah. um well, maybe maybe 2k would be like perfect although i when i read the resolution and you know mm -hmm. it's pretty close to 1080 uh, a bit higher yeah i thought i would see some pixels but can yes can't really see any pixels so i was pleasantly surprised uh, yeah it's actually how crisp it is yeah you can you can have a really nice display at roughly 1080p on a tablet slash laptop and it still look really good yeah the display definitely like no complaints at all it's excellent uh, it's good to have the 120 hertz as well sometimes for drawing uh, maybe that will help with the latency as well mm -hmm. right um, 
All right, at some point, I may ask you if you can do a, um, like a performance test, and there's probably some online. I would, I would like to know how this compares uh, to the laptop studio, and just like um, mm -hmm. benchmarks and stuff like that. And I can, like I said, I can try and look online and, and check that. Now, how much did this one cost you, if you don't mind sharing? It's uh, 1,900 on Amazon. That's in pounds. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think in the US it's significantly cheaper because uh, the pound is a lot higher than the dollar. Okay, so do you know what that is roughly? I don't know offhand. Um, oh, I can open, but uh, it would be probably like 30% less in dollars. Let's see. But although it's not going to make a difference because if you're in the UK, you have to pay in pounds. So. Right, yeah. Uh, Yeah, so I think in the U in the US it would be like two thousand mm. dollars, but in okay. the UK it's two thousand five hundred dollars closer. Yeah, so the the computer that I'm using, the laptop studio, um, for similar specs is more expensive, and the i nine version that Peter's using is more powerful. So this is, this is definitely worth uh, your time um to to check out and see if this would work for you instead of the laptop studio yeah uh, with this one you do get a keyboard as well because uh with the surface i think that's an extra two mm -hmm. or three hundred dollars right yeah this and, is... and the pen all right was there anything else that you would say are complaints about the machine things that you wish they had done different or better um well the main thing is the hover um but oh, yeah, let's show we, that. yeah, we can show a separate like a close up of that properly recorded, but uh, it's going to be more visible with the black background. Yeah, so Peter was telling me that when the the stylus is close to the screen, the yeah that the cursor doesn't track with the pen tip well. Yeah, if you look when I'm uh, jiggling the pen just a bit, like a millimeter up or down, you can see the cursor is pretty much staying mm -hmm. still yeah and we we it's just kind of trying to smooth without the motion but yeah it makes it difficult for drawing yeah so we we turned off um hold for right click as well in the uh, control panel and did not make this fix and so um if peter or if we're able to figure out a solution for this we'll put it up there when the pen tip is down it tracks correctly so that that yeah, even the small motions are good when it's actually pressed just the hover is the problem. yeah so as long as you close your eyes while you're drawing it's not going to bother you <laughs> <laughs> so dumb <laughs> i don't know if you can see this with the camera but there is a slight like a uh, ripple effect when you press the screen uh, when you press it strongly it's I... not something that would really bother you while drawing but maybe good to yeah mention so if you have a really heavy hand when you're drawing, you're going to see um, the screen flex and some um, pixel aberration. I think that's. Um, yeah, w regarding like the field, you, you're not really going to feel the flex. I mean, I, if you do this, right, you might it feels very good. slightly, but nobody would ever do it. Yeah. Yeah, only monsters. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, any other complaints? Um, well, the battery definitely could be better, but so far hasn't been anything like too inconvenient. You just have to be aware you need to charge it. Yeah. So. You could still take it out like to a coffee shop maybe for an hour or two. Yeah. So like to do dense work. Yeah. Like most, most tablets, it's going to be pretty similar besides an iPad, of course, or mm. well, most windows tablets, the battery life is going to be not wonderful. All right, so Peter, can you share um, audibly uh, your Twitter information and website information? Yeah, Peter was telling me this earlier, and I, I didn't understand the word Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> like, like I had never heard of the internet before. Like, what 
is Twitter. At uh, C A K P E T A R. So it's gonna be in the description, probably. Yeah. So I, I I'm not gonna tweet anything there really. It's not gonna help you to follow me because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really tweet. But if you do have questions, you can reach out to me there and I can like answer anything specific about the tablet because I know a lot of artists are interested yeah. in the tablet, but nobody's really covering it like at all. Yeah. That was frustrating. But yeah. I'm happy that like I, I was planning to return it if I didn't like how it uh, felt for drawing and sculpting. But uh, no, I'm definitely keeping it. It's uh, it's very good. Yeah. Except that how hopefully that does get resolved, but for ZBrush, it's not a problem at all. Okay, good. All and right. for me, ZBrush was made, so. Uh, will you open ZBrush and demonstrate that just real quickly? Uh, the keyboard for this is not a Bluetooth keyboard. And so that means that if you're um, trying to detach the keyboard and use it, it won't work. And the way that that um, Peter knows, uh, the way that we connect it is, is from my YouTube channel here that you're on. And Tablet Pro, this, this touch panel on the left gives you keyboard shortcuts. So you can use those keyboard shortcuts inside of ZBrush without a keyboard and, and that'll work there. See, that thing happened again, where it's offset now. Like, the actual crosshair, it's yeah. not where I'm pressing. Um, it does happen a few times. Yeah, so ZBrush actually needs to be in full screen mode, or all the way expanded out. Because uh, it's not just a style. Like, when I also, when it gets off-center, even with the, mm -hmm. with the finger, like, uh, it's yeah. going to happen. Yeah, it's pretty annoying. Hey, will you go does and... this happen to you? On a surface as mm -hmm. well sometimes yeah i think it's a zbrush thing zbrush is a very old program and they haven't updated some of their apis that's what mm -hmm. paul from zbrush tells me and zbrush actually doesn't use the gpu this is completely cpu accelerated so um can you go into preferences i think you might have it set up correctly already uh, tablet api yeah, you have it. Uh, so you need to have this set at WM event, which is what you have it set at. So that's correct. So yeah, I remember there was issues when it was at. Uh, can't remember what the issue was, but yeah, there was some issue. The pen and touch doesn't work at the same time when it's not set to that. Right. So you can use Alt. Can you show? Yeah, it's a smoothing and. And those will work if you have that set up correctly that'll work just like having a, a keyboard so you can pan and zoom and and uh, subtract and add and all those different type of things uh, that one is uh, has to be the location button has to be set up because the screen's a different resolution mm -hmm. so it has to be because that'll drag uh, like right. the size but you can customize all those so peter and peter and i are going to spend some time uh, working on an uh, a improved zbrush uh, artist pad uh, so that there's one that makes a little more sense because this one i built and i don't i don't know what i'm doing in zbrush like i toy around with it but peter's actually got some talent and, and does this for a living so <laughs> it'll be fun to make some improvements and then share those with you guys in an update to tablet pro yeah i definitely need to test it out more um it's it's really weird switching to the keys on screen, but uh, it's fun. It's like really fun to sculpt in bed. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, it opens up some different possibilities and there's a learning curve, but yeah, hopefully it eventually gets to a spot where, where people feel like they can do any of the creative work that they want to do, but in whatever location they want. So they're not restricted. All right, well, Peter, thank you so much. I really appreciate you taking the time. No problem. Thank you for having me and helping out with this and developing these uh, tools. N no replacement for them. <laughs> You're yeah. the only one doing it. So. <laughs> They're the best in so the I world. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, the best and probably only. Are, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, you guys, again, if you have questions, put it in the comment section. Uh, thank you, Peter. And uh, we'll look forward to seeing what questions you guys have. 
Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you.